Today I'm going to show you guys how you can make this super fire, seamless AI transition. This effect has been going absolutely crazy recently. It's been used on the brand new Lil Taka music video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can recreate it yourself. I'm going to be spelling the sauce. So open up inside of the Premiere Pro timeline here. We have the Nutspend Fuck Swag music video that recently came out. And I'm going to go ahead and play the transition through here. So you guys can see all it did was it took this frame and transitioned it into this frame and created this really cool AI effect. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this super easily today. And before we hop into this video, the pre-order for Fast Effects is now available and I've given you guys a crazy deal. If you add Fast Effects to your cart, you can add two other editing packs to your cart that are under $40 and you'll get those two editing packs for completely free. So if I add Fast Effects to my cart and then decide to add opium looks and CRT textures, I'll get CRT textures and opium looks for completely free at checkout. You guys don't wanna miss out on this deal as it's not lasting forever. Go down below and pre-order fast effects today but we're gonna get started on this effect so i'm gonna go ahead and delete what we have so far and this is essentially what i started with right here so what i did is i went and i found two frames in the music video just like this that are right beside each other and i went and cut in between the two frames and i put a gap in between them so you can see the last frame is this frame of nuts bent here and the first frame is this frame of the girl here now i'm not going to do the exact same one i just did i'm going to switch it up a little bit let's go ahead and do uh this frame We'll cut it right here. So we see the last frame is this frame of the girl laying on the ground. There we go. The first frame is the girl on the ground. And the last frame is Netspend here standing up. So essentially what you want to do now is you want to go to the very last frame and go ahead and take a screenshot and save it on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and save it inside of here. And then for the last one, I'm going to go ahead and save it inside of here as well. Now you want to go over to your web browser of choice and open up the Luma Dream Machine. Now this is completely free and you can make an account with your Google account for free like I did. Now to get started, what you want to do is you want to open up the folder on your computer where you have those images. And what you want to do is drag the first one in here and where it says end frame, you want to click on that. And then you want to import the second one in there as well, just like this. Now we're going to go ahead and say transition to end frame and we're going to hit start now if you guys get this error if it's at capacity right now try again later or upgrade what i recommend you guys do is you close out of your tab and you go into a new private tab and once you're logged in with a different email on that private tab i recommend trying again so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this we're going to upload the first one here click on the second one put the second one in there and then we'll do transition to end frame again so as you guys can see here it is now loading and what's going to happen is it's going to pop out a little tab down here and start loading fully there we go, we have it here, it is in queue. It's gonna take a couple of minutes and I'll be right back when it's done. All right guys, the transition is finished and we can see if we play it through here, we get this crazy effect. It isn't exactly what we looking, it isn't exactly perfect because it doesn't really look like net spend, but I mean, we tried our best. You just wanna do it with a bunch of different images. I'm gonna go ahead and hit download here and we'll save this to the tutorials. Now let's go back inside of Premiere Pro and I'm gonna drag it inside of here and we can see it is a lot longer than the area that we cut out. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and right click Hit speed and duration, it will make this 300 speed, and then we'll bring it out to here. So we get something like this, and I'm just gonna resize it to match the frame. It does like cut in a little bit, you guys can fix that. Um, if you upgrade to the full version, you won't have the Luma lo logo in the corner. So I recommend doing it like that. Uh, ain't no walking, Poland, boy. Those legs, like those stutters, if I play it through like this, you guys see they aren't gonna be there in the final version. It's just for the playback in Premiere Pro for some reason. Uh, ain't no walking, so just ignore those glitches. We have a super crazy effect like that and to transition it even better, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using fast effects. So make sure you have the layers where you want the fast effects to show up on. So I want it to show up here. If there's any audio, I want them to show up here selected. And we're gonna go ahead and go to flashes and let's do a motion flash vertical. And we're gonna put our playhead right here and hit the check mark. You guys can see one instantly shows in right here. And we'll put one right here as well by hitting the check mark. And if we wanna put any other ones, we'll just Select on V4 on the frame above, and maybe we can go inside of transitions here and we'll do a thermal. And there we have the basic effect with a super clean AI transition. I highly recommend you guys mess around with this. There's so much creativity and you can honestly play around with the keywords as well to get some really funky stuff. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys are interested in fast effects, you can pre-order it down below and get two other editing packs for completely free. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.